Hi, my name is Steven Maddos. I am going to show you how you use the Epson 4490 photo scanner, which is our most common scanner featured in the library. Okay, let's get started. We have nine Epson scanners available for use in the library. There are five in the Media Hub, two at the Research Hub, and two located at the Inteller station on the second floor of the library. Okay, let's begin scanning. First, make sure that the scanner is turned on. The on-off switch is located on the right-hand side of the scanner. Next, place the item that you want to scan on the scanning bed as shown here, placing the item on the left-hand corner of the scanning bed. A note to PC users, you can access the Epson scan software from the icon below. From here, the software will work as it does on a Mac using the instructions found in this video tutorial. From a Mac, you will start the scanning software from the desktop icon as shown below. You will then be prompted to choose the scanner, in this case, it's the Epson 4490. From here, the scanning mode box will open up. The 4490 offers three scanning modes. Full auto mode, home mode, and professional mode. In full auto mode, the scanner pretty much does all the work. Place your document type on the scanner bed and click scan. Full auto mode will rotate, crop, make adjustments, and scan your image as a JPEG to the pictures folder on the Mac hard drive. In home mode, you have a few more options to work with. You choose the document type, the image type, the destination, meaning image resolution for the web or a printer, etc. And you have options for the image adjustments, such as de-screening and dust removal. And finally, in professional mode, you have total control of the type of document you are scanning. In this mode, you can scan either a reflective document, such as a photograph or a book, as well as film such as 35 millimeter or 120 film. And finally, you have a wider range of options regarding image adjustments, such as histogram, tonal correction, unsharp mask, and dust removal slash digital ice technology. Digital ice is a software that is great for removing dust and scratches from film. Just click the digital ice technology box before you scan and choose between quality and speed in terms of how well you want the scan to work. And then you should be good. Since most of your scanning needs can be accomplished in home mode, I will demonstrate a scan in this setting. First, place the document on the scanner bed, in this case, a book, then click preview. Since we are scanning an image, I chose photograph as a document type. A preview of your scan will then appear on the screen. Next, you will need to select the area of the image you wish to scan by clicking and holding a corner of the image and dragging down to the desired spot as shown here. After that, you will then choose your image type your destination for the web, to a printer, or other option. Then set the image resolution that you want to scan it at. Image resolution is the detail an image holds. Higher resolution means more image detail. I recommend 300 dpi, or digital pixels per inch, for printable images, or higher for really small scans. You can go as low as 72 dpi for the web. Then decide if you want to make any image adjustments, then click Scan. 
From here, the Save Option box will appear. Set your desired destination for the document, as well as what you want to name the image, and what format you would like, PDF, JPEG, TIFF, etc. Then press OK. Soon after this, your document should appear at the destination you have chosen. One final note, you have the option of prompting the Epson scan software to start from the front panel of the scanner as shown here. Okay, that's it. If you have any other questions, you can contact us at dps at providence.edu or ask a librarian at lists.providence.edu. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you around the library.